What's up dudes and dudettes, I'm Derek with Game Somniac, and today we're going to be playing Dead Island 2. Now this was my most anticipated game of 2023 and Dan Buster Studios did not disappoint. In fact, the game's actually been well received, it's got a huge fan following online, a lot of dedicated players are still checking it out. Uh, at the time of this recording, there's two DLC that have been released for Dead Island 2. Um, I haven't gotten to play those yet, I've already played the base game, um, I finished the campaign with Danny. I was unable to, to capture that first playthrough. I originally wanted to play through the game and, and, and record my initial playthrough, but that just didn't get to happen. So I wanted to play it again before tackling the DLC. Figured maybe I'd try out a new character and ultimately just have some fun, man. So without further ado, let's get into this thing. Let's get into Dead Island 2. Here we go. Identify as human. Where the hell did you come from? Long Beach. I gave up my seat. It's gotta be 20 clicks. Through them? Can't catch me. Or Zayhefe? Tango! Go! 
There better be food on this place. Ticket, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Must be my own jacket. This'll do. Oh my god, you're Emma John, right? And Robert Steele? Can I get a selfie? Get the seven one happy costume! We have we have a second manager. She always likes surprises. All right, in the words of the immortal Amanda Styles, let's fucking go. Who are we choosing, guys? Who are we playing as? We've got Jacob. Now, I always thought I'd play Jacob next, but we got Bruno. I was never really into Bruno. Then we got Carla. Carla looks pretty cool. Uh, there's my girl, Danny, of course. We got Danny. Uh, Ryan, who I can't ever really see myself playing. Amy's kind of a badass. I could play as Amy, but... God, you know, it just doesn't really feel right. I, I feel like I gotta play as Danny again. Yeah, I mean, since we're since we're recording, I, I feel like I gotta go through this. I feel like I gotta go through this with Danny. It's the only thing that feels right. She's such an awesome character, and her fucking accent is amazing. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no shit. All right, I'm gonna take this slow. We, we know what we're doing, right, Danny? We know what we're doing. Just gonna take this slow. Nice and easy. Med kit. You don't have to tell me twice, doll. I'm gonna get you that med kit. Oh, maybe not. Does, does the little bottle of uh, alcohol give her, like, super strength? Or is that the infection? Is she, like, Popeye, but with alcohol instead of spinach? Feck. Time to go. God, I love her accent. Right. Let's fuck off out of here. Oh, indeed. Let's. This plane crash is... Awesome though. Like the level design, fucking fantastic. Look how beautiful that is. Oh yes. Someone else made it. Oh, someone indeed. God. That's it's awesome, man. This is such a great intro to a game. Cause like it's it's clearly meant to be a tutorial, but at least there's shit happening. Hello? No, you're not going nuts. We'll, we'll find out who that is soon enough. This is pretty fucked, though. No, no, not this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God. The set design is just fu I can't get... Can't get over how beautiful the game is. Something to smash, huh? Then I need something to smash it with. Indeed. Oh, you smash that crate well, Danny. Love that form. I love the purple. The purple, the blues. I love the color palette. No shit, it reminds me a lot of Rage 2. It's not hoarding if I'm sure I'll use it someday. Oh, absolutely. 100%. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but growing up as a kid, we always had a junk drawer. And, and, you know, every fucking random thing would find its way into the junk drawer. And then, lo and behold, there'd be one instance where we'd find what we needed in the junk drawer. Honestly, I think every house should have a junk drawer. It was kind of magical, really. I mean, you just had to be there. 
any kind of instruction manual you could think of. Furniture, TVs, electronics, random batteries, nobody knows if they're good or not. One Allen wrench. Little packets of soy sauce from the Chinese place. It was kind of magical. I say, sir, you seem to have gone ass over tea kettle. See, kids, that's what happens when you don't wear your safety belt. Yeah, now, see, that's... I hate people who buy up all the seats. They just take both seats in the aisle for themselves. It's rude. Very rude. Alright, moving on. The son of a bitch! Fuck, I forgot that happened. <laughs> I forgot that happened. Oh, look at that glorious mess. Oh, that's beautiful. God. The gore system in this game, I mean, you've, I mean, by now you guys have probably heard all there is to hear about Dead Island 2, but believe me when I say the game's gore system is fabulous! The special effects sequences in this game are also well designed. All the explosions. The fucking game just looks amazing. I love it. It's a total breath of fresh air for me because like, before I played this, I was playing Dying Light. And I have a video here on the channel that everybody should go watch, where I talk about my experiences playing Dying Light. Spoiler alert, I fucking hated it! And from the time I set eyes on the trailer for this game, I just wanted it to be so much better than Dying Light, and for me, it is by fucking miles. Dying Light is a shit show compared to Dead Island 2. And the reason being is that Dead Island 2 is just loose, it's just good fun. Mindless fun. Almost there. Will you stop firing those bloody flares? What? Stop firing those flares. God, it's beautiful. We've only got a few left. We should save them. <sighs> Michael, take that flare gun off him and shove it up his ass. I just think we only need to Okay? What was that? There's something in the plane. No, there's not. Stay back. You don't know that. There's no, there's no reason to believe that there's anybody in the plane. And don't let me coming out of the plane door undermine what I just said. Hey, calm your face, man. Anyone hurt? Uh, just a few bruises. I think we got lucky. I, I, I'm Michael. Danny. This is fucking tremendous. <laughs> I fucking love this bit. Emma, darling, I'm so sorry about Robert. She what? throws the shoes away I mean, because obviously this she's this uncomfortable and her feet now. hurt. And Michael's a total Please kiss ass. Yeah, Mike, find her some fucking right, shoes. You got blood coming out your ears like. What? I can't hear you. I got blood coming out of my ears. Well, and Ronnie's the character that always rolls do? 20 on observation. Not stand around here like Egypt's? <laughs> he brings her the shoes you know, that she just threw joint. away. Grand. I fucking of love this course, game. You know what a huge star she is, Romero, winner no less. We need to get her home to safety. What was that? Careful. Let's give it a lash. <laughs> yeah, stowaways. My. 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 Sharona. Wife. Your wife named Sharona? No, she doesn't have a ticket either. You're both gonna have to go to reception and get separate tickets. Oh, Jesus. She's got a pulse. Small mercies. Me. Give us a hand then. Michael, help. Yeah, Mike. You asshole. See if the wife has the same Ready? shoe size as Emma John. It's too heavy. We need to go. Look, we can't just leave him here to die. I mean, perhaps we should stay. Darling, the world needs you. They'll protect them. <laughs> Will I? Yeah. Okay, Michael, if you're sure. Here is my address in case you change your mind. Good luck. With friends like you, I'll need us. I'll call the army. Send help. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Hey, are you Evans <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Fantastic. Oh, I fucking Not love it. Off you go. Oh, it's so awesome. A fellow survivor. Looks like they're in shock. Yeah, I'm sure that's what that is. Either that or they're having a quick wank. 
from the looks of it. Give us a hand, would you? He can't, Danny. His hands are full. Hello. He's probably sticky Can you too. Hear me? Probably not, Danny. Doing that shit makes you go deaf or something. <laughs> Fuck off out me face. <laughs> Get him. Get him. Punk ass bitch. Tried to play himself. They can be killed. And how, true believers? I need a better weapon. Grab another weapon. I am the weapon. What the fuck are you talking about? I love the design of this hammer. Oh yeah? Who else wants some? Cause like there's a lot of shit like I go to Lowe's and stuff or I'll just be out somewhere and I'll see something that looks like a really cool weapon or that it would make a great weapon. So it's kind of satisfying that you're picking up pieces of the wreckage from the plane crash and you're just using it as makeshift hammers and shit. It's kind of sad because later in the game you come across like steel pipes and stuff. Bring it on, you gobshites. But they're just common weapons. Like you don't ever come across like a special fucking rare legendary steel pipe or something. Something that you can customize and really deck out the stats and make it like just an absolute fucking annihilator. What do I do? Honestly, is there anything wrong with what we're doing now? I mean, I'm having a good time. Oh, fuck. Oh, the sound effects are just so juicy, dude. Oh, I love it. Sit down, clown. I know this is just like the intro to the game, but they really should have padded this part out with... Just zombie after zombie after zombie. They they should have made it a little bit more challenging. Because she's like, they keep coming, and it's like, okay, but it's it's a walker and a fucking crawler. Like, we're not getting overwhelmed. It's manageable. If I knock that tire down, it'll barbecue them. Now see in real life, I would have never have come to that conclusion. I probably would have just kept fighting them off. I would also like to go on record and say that the throwing mechanic in this game is a lot better than the first game for the sheer fact that you get your fucking weapons back. I can't tell you how many times I've lost a weapon throwing it at a fucking enemy. Super annoying. Ha! Fuck the lot of ya! Right. Where was I? I think you were about to play Doctor Doctor and give Sharona the news. Get out of this, like. Hey. Uh, oh, Jesus. Doesn't he look like Eric Sparrow? How the fuck did this happen? He even sounds like Eric Sparrow. Like this. From Tony Hawk's water. Underground? Have some water. Does Dead Island 2 take place in a Tony Hawk universe? <laughs> Seriously, is this a crossover episode? Wake up now, Bjor. Can you hear me? Bjor. Have a little drink of water for me. <laughs> Do you good. Fuck me, I was trying to help you. Just glorious. Oh shit, what am I gonna do? 66 Alpine Drive. It always cracks me up how abnormally bright the address is written on her arm. Oh shit! Was that Jake Paul? Did did Danny just Mike Tyson Jake Paul or There it is! There it is! Yeah! Let's go! 
I fucking love this game.